Hi guys! Welcome back sa YouTube channel ko. So for today, babalikan natin yung differential calculus topic natin. This time, differentiation of trigonometric functions. Kung mapapansin yung mga lodi, meron na tayong video nito dati. Pero yung derivatives kasi natin, yung recta lang. What if yung mga given sa atin is yung mga complicated in which we can use the trigonometric identities? So kaya ko ito ginawa para mabalikan natin yung mga iba't ibang klase ng identity sa, trigono sa trigonometry. So pero before that, shout out muna kay Ira Guapson. Thank you so much Lodi sa patuloy na pag-support and I hope you all the best. Ingat ka lagi and more power sa iyo. Okay? So ang gagawin natin for today is magdi-differentiate tayo pero ang gagawin natin is we have to recall all those trigonometric identities. Okay? Number 1. So ang direction dito find dy over dx. Number 1. Ah, uh, y ay sorry, alam ko cosine 2x pala to. Nakalimutan ko yung given. So that is y is equal to sine 2x cosine 2x. So normally yung mga lodi, pag hinanap natin yung dy over dx, we will use the product rule. That is udv plus vdu. So at least ang gagawin ko, ibibigay ko yung pinaka normal step na ginagawa natin. Pero kung kabisado natin yung trigonometric identity is much better. Ito kasi mga lodi, yung sine a cosine b. Kung naalala nyo yung double angle identity for sine. So that is sine 2x. Ito yung key identity. So, pumipiyok. Sorry, mga lods. <laughs> Equals to sin x. Cosine x. Okay? So, kung mapapansin nyo, similar siya dito. Pero, meron tayong 2 dito, mga lodi. So, ibig sabihin, etong x, eto yan, mga lodi. Kung baga, sige, gawin natin tong theta para mas maliwanag. So, gawin natin sin 2 theta is equal to 2 sin theta cos sin theta. So, ang gagawin natin dito, para makonvert natin siya sa identity, so that is sin theta, cosine theta is equal to 1 half of sine 2 theta. Ibig sabihin yung theta dito ay 2x. So, ang gagawin mo, ita times mo siya sa 2. So, therefore, ang mangyayari dun sa ano natin, y, that is equal to 1 half ng sine 4x. Bakit 4x or ij? Yung theta natin, 2x. So, kapag kinonvert mo siya dun sa double angle identity, so, 2 times 2x, that is 4x. Ganun siya mga lodi. And then, mapapansin nyo, uy, madali na mag-differentiate. Using the basic trigonometric uh, differentiation and using the chain rule. So, that is dy over dx is equal to 1 half multiplied by, ano ang derivative ng sine? That is cosine 4x. Pero mga lodi, don't forget the derivative of the loob nung nasa inside natin. So, we have, uh, we are using chain rule kasi parang domino effect siya simula ka sa labas, Hanggang sa pumunta ka dun sa pinaka inner mo. So, what is the derivative of 4x? So, that is 4. So, kapag sinimplify natin ito, mga lodi, that is 2 cosine of 4x. Tingnan nyo yung sagot natin, napakasimple lang, di ba? So, ulitin natin, 1 half sine 4x, derivative ng sine 4x, cosine 4x, pero may multiplier tayo ng 4, kasi ginamit natin yung chain rule. Magdi-differentiate pa tayo ng loob. So, that is 4 divided by 2, or 4 times 1 half, that is 2, and then cosine 4x. So, ano yung pinakaginamit nating identity? Ito po. Okay? Sige, next item. So, five problems lang naman ito mga lods. Okay, so, number two. Different shape. Y is equal to sin x plus cosine x quantity squared. So, this is number two. So, normally, ang gagawin natin dyan, i-expand natin, or pwede natin gamitan ng power rule. So, gagamitin nyo lang, yung 2 ibababa nyo agad, tas derivative nung loob. Which is, without knowing na kapag tinray mo siyang i-expand, you will see something na, uy, parang common tong identity na to ah. So, let's try. So, that is y is equal to square of a binomial, a plus b quantity squared, that is a squared, plus 2ab plus b squared. So, we have y is equal to sine squared x plus 2 sine x cos sine x plus cosine squared x. Anong napapansin nyo, mga Lodi? Uy, may napansin si Idol. Eto, plus eto, this is the basic Pythagorean identity. Alam natin na ang sine squared x plus cosine squared x is equal to 1. Diba? So, this will become y is equal to 1 plus 2 sine x cosine x. Kaya lang, naalala mo yung diniscuss natin kanina eto ay equal sa sin 2x. So, what will be our function now? Or our 
expression, equation in terms of x. So, y is equal to 1 plus sine 2x. And then, differentiate. Mas madaling gawin. So, we have dy over dx. Derivative ng constant, that is 0. Derivative ng sine, that is cosine 2x. Pero, derivative pa ng loob, which is 2. Kaya, ang magiging sagot natin, dy over dx is equal to 2 cosine 2x. Ganun lang siya. Anong identity? Etong Pythagorean and another double angle identity. Next, number 3. Number 3. So, ito, number 3. Y is equal to cosine to the 4th x minus sine to the 4th x. So, usually, ang gagamitin ulit natin dyan, power rule. Ganito gagawin nyo dyan. Gagawin mo siyang 4 cosine cube x and then chain rule derivative ng cosine negative sine. Which is, hindi natin napansin na, uy, difference of 2 squares to mga lodi. So, naalala nyo ba yung difference of 2 squares? That if that is a squared minus b squared can be expressed as a plus b multiplied by a minus b. So, how will we do that, Sir IJ? So, ang gagawin natin, mga lodi, ganito gagawin natin dyan. y is equal to cosine squared x plus sine squared x multiplied by cosine squared x minus sine squared x. Ayan na. Nakita nyo, uy, Sir IJ, ito na naman yung kanina, 1 yan ah. Di ba? So, ulitin ko, bakit naging ganyan? Kasi 4, ang square root lang ng cosine to the 4th, cosine squared. Kaya naging ganto lang siya. Eh, ang tanong, ito, saan to equal? Nakalimot si Lodi. Anong tawag dyan? Identity crisis. Charot lang. So, ang tawag dito is double, ident ay, double angle identity for cosine 2x. So, meron tayong tatlong identity for cosine 2x. So, meron tayong cosine squared x minus sine squared x. Meron din tayong in terms of cosine lang. 2 cosine squared x minus 1, mga lods. So, take note natin yung mga basic identity. Ah. 1 minus 2 sine squared x. So, ganyan lang yan. So, ito, cosine 2x yan. So, saan ba ito nang galing, Sir IJ? Galing lang din yan dun sa Pythagorean identity natin na cosine squared x plus sine squared x is equal to 1. So, ang mangyayari dito, ang matitira lang pala dyan, Sir IJ, so, ang nangyari, y is equal to cosine 2x lang pala. Hala, ganun lang pala yan, Sir. Okay, so, ano mangyayari dyan? That is dy over dx. Ano derivative ng cosine, mga lodi? Tama, that is negative sine. So, negative sine 2x. Pero may derivative pa yung 2x natin. That is 2. Kaya, ang magiging final answer natin, dy over dx is equal to negative 2 sine 2x. Ganun lang siya. Okay? Next, number 4. So, balikan natin, mga lodi. Ah. More on try go tayo, identities, para at least ma-refresh kayo. Okay, number 4. So, meron tayong y is equal to 2 sin x cos second 2x. So, normally, we will use product rule without knowing na we can simplify it further by using the reciprocal identity. Anong reciprocal ng cos second or cos second? Depende sa basa. Oh, nakalimutan ni Lodi. So, that is sin 2x or sin. Ang reciprocal ni sin, cos second. Ang reciprocal ni cos sin, second. Si tangent, cotangent. So, knowing that cos second x is equal to 1 over sin x, we can express our equation in terms of y is equal to 2 sin x multiplied by 1 over sin 2x. Ginamit natin yung identity, mga lods. So, ano mangyari dyan? Ito naman, i-double angle identity natin. So, that is y is equal to 2 sin x. Ano identity nito, mga lodi? 1 over 2 sin x. Cosine x. Diba ganyan yun mga lodi? Ito equal dito. Eh makakancel tong 2 sin x, 2 sin x. So that is y is equal to 1 over cosine x. Ano ang 1 over cosine x? Kakasabi ko lang. Tama. That is second x. Ano derivative niyan sir IJ? So we have dy over dx. Ang palatandaan lang dyan, yung derivative ng sec is nesectan. Charot lang. Pero sec tangent yan. So that is second x tangent x. Ang derivative ng tangent x, that is second squared x. So, therefore, ito yung final answer natin. dy over dx equals second x tangent x. Okay, mga lods? Oh, sige, isang example na lang. So, to wrap our day, so, the, regarding this uh, topic. Okay, so, number 5. So, we have y is equal to 
two cotangent x all over one plus cotangent squared x. So, ito ang gagawin natin, quotient rule, VBU minus UDV all over V squared. Without knowing na this is another Pythagorean identity, which is equal to cosecant squared x. So, ano pa yung isa? That is 1 plus second squared x. Oh, sorry, 1 plus tangent squared x. So, ito. Ito pa yung isang identity natin sa Pythagorean. That is second squared x. Balikan lang natin mga lods, ha? So, that is y is equal to 2 cotangent x all over cosecant squared x. So, let us use our ratio, trigonometric ratio identities. So, ano ba ang cotangent, sir IJ? That is cosine x over sine x. How about itong cosecant squared? Reciprocal siya ng sine. So, magiging 1 over sine squared x. So, ano mangyari dyan? So, we have, so, gawin natin 2 cosine x over sine x times the reciprocal of this, mga lods. So, that is sine squared x over 1. Cancel out ng isang sine. So, that is 2 sine x cosine x. Another double angle identity. So, that is y. So, it will now become y is equal to sine 2x. Bakit ganun? 2 sine x cosine x. Yung ginamit natin kanina. So, ano derivative nito? So, we have dy over dx is equal to 2 cosine 2x. So, ayan na siyang mga loads. Diba? Ang derivative niyan is cosine lang then kay chain rule derivative ng loob. So, just in case you have questions or clarifications, mga lodi, huwag kayo may mag-comments sa comment section. And I hope you all the best. Pagpalain kayo ni Lord and keep focus na lang during this pandemic at saka dun sa mga online classes natin. Um, see you in my next match tutorial and bye for now.